Hello, Julia. How are you today? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm doing I'm disappointed, okay. but I'm fine. Why are you disappointed? Well, um, I had an interview in English today. It's not for a new job. It's an interview that um, Aviation Civil Authority to okay. verify our English level. Okay. That interview happens uh, around four, it's, it's, it's four of, or five years. Okay. So the minimum required for the controllers, my job, it's level four. Level four is like a, a basic English, not a basic, but a technical basic English. Okay. So I was level five, like an intermediate, and level six is a native English. So I level five, like four years ago. So in this interview, that was the last uh, Friday, and I uh, got the news today that I was let, I get at a lower level, like uh, level four, and I was five. So when I asked to my interviewer what happened, uh -huh. he told me like, I didn't use subordinators, like nonetheless, nevertheless, notwithstanding. I, and I was, oh yeah, thank you. I will try to get better. But at the, in the bottom of my heart, of my heart I really disappointed because I'm not, I'm not using that words for that. I don't know work uh, doing essays. I'm just controller. I just control planes. I'm not that kind of words are so weird. I, 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 you tell me. I don't know. I'm 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 mad. Okay. Uh, when you use those words, uh, first you use them when you're using a uh, very formal English and you want to sound very elegant exactly. and all that. So if, if it's like when you go to a job interview, you know, sometimes they tell you which aspects they evaluate your fluency, your accuracy, your vocabulary, pronunciation. So, but I don't see it as a big issue why they should lower someone's level just because they're not using uh, that vocabulary. Oscar is in the same problem. I, uh, I text. Well, he texted me today to tell me <laughs> about our his tragedy. That is the same of, of, of my case. It's the same okay, case. Okay. Okay. And uh, he's not he's not happy. Or he's really mad. He's really mad because he he has been taking these uh, English classes, and uh, he doesn't feel well with uh, that uh, level. With the level results. Four. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. And me too. I, I don't feel like like happy. I I'm not exactly the person that I'm going to, I don't know, like confront, like um, confront. How do you say? Yeah, confront. Like confront. I am very like, okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll take your advice uh, to get, uh, to be, to try to, to get better in, in my English. Uh -huh. Right. But I'm not agree. I'm not, believe me, I'm not agree because I'm, I don't need to use like, we don't, what is the word? We, with not standing something like it means like no obstante, I yeah. don't really need to. Yeah, it's important to know to learn. I, I'm I'm agree with that, but knowing in not in my case, not in my job as a controller. Believe right, me. Right, right. Really matter about that. Okay. Okay. Thank well. You. Thank yeah. you for listening. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, it's eight o'clock. What is the date? What's today's date? It's uh, November 5th. 5th, exactly. November 5th, 2020. November 5th, 2020. Yes. Okay, do you guys remember the topics we covered yesterday? Do you remember? No? Uh. The last part was about uh, adjectives. Adjectives, right. Yep. Adjectives that finished in ED. Now, what was the <laughs> function of those adjectives in particular? Were they positive, negative? I mean, what's the story? They were to talk about negative uh, feelings or exactly. emotions. 
yes, to express negative feelings. Uh, so that that chart that they uh, they showed us, you know, they are uh, they all of them finish in ED, and they express negative feelings. Yes. Okay. Um, any questions or comments about yesterday? No. Okay, have you gotten to the point where there is a reading activity about um, a, a bride that didn't get her dress on time? Have you gotten to that part yet? Me. Okay, good. Yeah. Do you remember the information in that article, Julia? Do you remember the story? about the gown of the bride, the bride's gown? Yeah, just a little parts about the gowns bride. Uh huh. Okay. Yes. Yeah, uh, let me remember that. That she didn't. Let me remember. No, I don't remember what happened. Okay. But some, uh, something re related with the, with the gown. Exactly. Yeah. Something related with the dress. Um, let me. Where's that story? Oh, it's right here. So the, the company where she ordered the, the dress, the one she was going to use to get married, you know, they didn't keep their words, you know. So at the end, you know, she gets a, a bad experience. So can, can you see the document that I have here? Can you see the yes, document? Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. What is the name of the article? What's the name? Wedding shop leaves bride waiting at altar. Exactly. Okay. Can you see the picture? What is the expression she has? Is she happy? Afraid. Oh. Afraid? Okay. Yeah. Worried? Maybe? Okay. Yeah. So let look mad. Ah. Okay. Can, can you see the the words in the article. Can you see the vocabulary? I mean, the, the information? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Okay, so I need a volunteer to read the first part, please. Every year. Okay. okay. And Go ahead. Every year, more than uh, 3,000. 300,000? 300,000, sorry. Right in the UK, go shopping for the perfect gown to help make their wedding a perfect day. We caught up with uh, furious. Furious, furious brides who would like to ask Donna and Robert Davis. The people who run the It's Your Day wearing shop in Sunbury, England. Uh -huh. Uh, why they didn't get their dress in time or at all. Uh -huh. Heather Moroy paid uh, 615 to the Davises uh -huh. uh, for, for a deposit on her dress. After her second visit, uh, she realized that Davis was not measuring up to her expectations. Thank you. All right, do we have any questions with the first part? Any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? Uh, Davis says. Okay, Davis is, it's, it's Davis their is? last name. It's their last name. Ah, okay. Yes. Anybody else? No. No? Okay, so let's continue reading. Oh, everybody that is connected. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Heather says, I had, I had several feelings canceled or delayed for different reasons and different excuses. And this went on for a period of time. Uh -huh. I was born because I was supposed to, I'm sorry. 
I was supposed to pick up my wedding dress. Uh-huh. And I cannot see Two weeks the long. other part. Okay. Right here, two weeks before. Uh, two weeks before the wedding, and she said, no, 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 don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. All right, good. Thank you. Are there any questions in that paragraph? Questions or comments? No. Okay. May I have another volunteer to read the next paragraph, please? The ceremony. The Maybe. ceremony was planned. Uh -huh. The cake was chosen. The guests were invited, but there was still no wedding dress. Okay. Finally, on the night before her wedding, when she was supposed to have dinner with family and and friends, uh -huh. Heather got the call to stay to say her dress would be ready. However, when she got there, the dress still wasn't ready. The Davises uh -huh. promised to work on the dress all night and deliver, deliver it first thing in the morning of okay. the big day. Okay, good. Thank you. Any questions there about the section she just read? Questions, no, questions, okay. Uh, may I have another volunteer read uh, the next part? After a sleepless night. Uh-huh. Me. Uh, okay, go ahead, please. After a sleepless night, Heather had just two hours to go before her wedding under was still no sing. No sing. sign. sign. No sign. Sign of the Davises. 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 Uh -huh. With only one hour to spare. Heather finally cut her losses. Uh -huh. She went to the nearest wedding, wedding. wedding shop and both are replacement dress of the rack. Mm -hmm. She never even got a re refund. Yes, a refund? Refund on her deposit. Deposit, thank you very much. Any questions with the section she just read? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay, may I have the last volunteer, please? We also spoke. Anybody? We also spoke to Robin Brown, who is getting a main married to a married two days from now. She didn't know whether or not be good receive her dress on time. Mm -hmm. So she already bought a replacement. What's more, what's more Richard Thorpe? Thorpe? Yeah. Look the Davis, to court. Davises to court after they supply her with a Boris. A Boris that was the de defective and didn't even, and didn't even fit her and even fit her okay we have we have asked the davis for a statement regarding the complaints but so far they haven't issued one uh, and one what and we are wonder wondering if they will they what will. okay yes thank you very much Okay, any questions or comments about the last part he just read? We have a that article in the platform. Yes, you do. Yes, okay. you have that article in the platform. What's the meaning of bodies? Uh, 
Where, where is that word? Uh, the word, the word bodies. Uh -huh. Bodies makes reference? The, the word bodies. Okay, you know the gown or the dress that a bride wears when she's getting married? The bodies makes reference to the to this part, to the upper part. So it was oh, maybe okay, it, thank it you. was it, it was maybe the wrong size or I don't know exactly what she means when she said it was defective. Yep. Okay, anybody else? Any questions? No. Okay, so let me assign you to work in pairs and just summarize this situation. So let me make the groups, create rooms. Uh -huh. And here we go. So just paraphrase what you understood. If you have questions about vocabulary or pronunciation and just give your opinion. What's supposed we have to do? Maybe read again or maybe discuss about the vocabulary or what? Do you know? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Read, read again, possible. <laughs> yes, I, I, I want the bride. Uh, Uh, photos. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
Hello, Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. I was listening okay. to your question, but I couldn't find the icon to um, to show me on camera. Uh, you're supposed to discuss your opinion about this particular situation, like uh, when the company or, or the business where you go buy your dress or your suit when you're getting married doesn't keep their word. I mean, what is your, your opinion about it? Ah, okay. It's not exactly uh, discuss about this article. It's not exactly. Yeah, yeah. Discuss okay. this one and and use this one as an example to give your your opinion about the opinion. situation. Yes. Okay. We we were think that we could read again because if you want, you case, can. You can. Yes. I couldn't read it very well because it's not clear. Yeah, clear. It, it's blurry. <laughs> it's blurry. Yes. How, is, how do you say? Blurry. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, it's not clear. Yes. Okay. Any voluntary no yeah, Veronica? <laughs> okay. I think you, it's one paragraph. Each. You can start, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Tell me. Even though the wedding was the next day. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. She thinks that the dress uh, should be on time, but apparently not. Mm -hmm. And number four, with only an hour to spare, Heather mm -hmm. had to... Was, let me see, like um, 200 or a little bit more than 200. So it was, it was very expensive for me in that moment. Uh -huh. So that's why I decided to rent it and it was only 80. Yes. And I think it, it was the best decision that I, that I made. Yes. Because for mm -hmm. the future, the, is, uh, this, this dress is not, not probably used at the future. Uh, hi, it's you are going to wear that dress only once. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's okay. And, and there's another advantage when you rent a dress and that is that you don't have to be worried about the cleaning of the dress before the wedding day because in in my case my my wedding dress was very uh, I I work all night in your dress and I give you tomorrow in the morning, but never arrive the dress and he need to to buy other. Oh. Exactly. And uh, the sad part, well, in the last sentence, it says it says something something like, "We have asked Davis for a for a statement regarding the complaint, but so far." They have an issue one, and we're wondering they.
think that they are so expensive and that you are going to wear them like for a day only. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's ridiculous. It's it's ridiculous to, to spend so much money in a dress, on a dress, I don't know. Not, not mine. So, uh, because that uh, sometimes uh, we don't think about. But if it's possible to me to think about this topic, maybe um, or no, maybe I, I I like I would like to be in the beach and in front <laughs> in front of and in the sun. <laughs> yeah, in the sunset. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and the sunset, uh, um, on the sand, uh, I, I, a little idea about. It's a really good idea, William. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you're talking about the, the honeymoon, maybe? No, about the wedding. The wedding. Oh, the wedding, the, the, the ceremony itself. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it must be good to, uh, it must feel good getting married at the beach, at the ocean. Yeah, in front of. The sunset. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So I, you know, it, it must be it, it, getting married at the beach it makes the occasion more special, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It is. It's an affordable, affordable, right? <laughs> uh, what do you mean forward? Um, for for what? For go to the board. For? Inolvidable, right? Oh, unforgettable. Unforgettable. Yes, unforgettable. Yeah, it mm -hmm. makes it more unforgettable. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, all right, welcome back. Any questions about that incident, about when they leave you hanging uh, with your wedding dress or your suit that you will use uh, that day? No? I guess not. All right, so let's go to our next activity. Um, do you guys remember uh, your second conditionals? Second conditional. 
second Rem condition. Like yeah, there are, there are four conditionals in English. We have zero conditional, first, second, and third conditional. How do you say, um, si yo te llevara? How do you say that in English? If I take you. Okay, if I take you is, si yo te llevo. Si yo te mm -hmm. llevara. If, if I, I would, have... I think, carry, you, carry you. Okay, when, when, when we're talking about the second conditional, um, second conditional has two names. Unreal conditional or second conditional. They're making reference to the same topic. So if you want to say, si yo te llevara, te tendrías que portar bien. If I took you, if I took you, you would have to behave. Si yo te llevara, it's unreal because you're only using your imagination. And that's why the name is the second conditional. When you use the second conditional, you use the structure of the simple past tense. How do you say, si yo manejara a San Miguel? If I if drove to San Miguel. If I drove to San Miguel. How do you say, si usted viniera? If you, you came. If you came. If you came. How do you say, si usted tuviera un problema? If you, if have, you have a problem. Excellent. Excellent. So that is the second conditional. When we're talking about the second conditional, it is mandatory that you use the structure of the simple past tense. Now, there is no connection with the simple past tense, but that is the structure that we use. So today, this morning, it was very cold. 6 a.m., it was raining, cloudy, and the water was very cold. So you say to yourself, si yo me bañara ahorita, how will you say that? If I took a shower. If I took a shower, I will be very cold. I will be very cold. So, any questions about the second condition? In this one, we use the, the word would. Yes. Um, you can say would or you can use could. If I okay. took a shower right now, I would be very cold. Me daría mucho frío. If okay. I took a shower right now, I could lose more time. Podría perder más tiempo. So you can say okay. would or you can say could because uh, the second conditional, like I was telling you, is not real. It's not happening. So would and could, they sound very hypothetical, right? Okay. So how do you say si yo bebiera más soda? If I drank more soda? Uh -huh. Sufrirían mis riñones. If I drank more soda, my kidneys would suffer? Exactly. Okay, yeah. okay. So if I drank more soda, my kidneys would suffer. So is this person drinking more soda? No. This person is only using his or her imaginations, man. If I drink more soda, my kidneys will suffer. So that is the second conditional. Now, any questions about the second conditional? How do you say, si yo no usara lentes? Of <laughs> If I didn't wear glasses? Exactly, if I didn't wear glasses. How do you say, si yo no te conociera? If I didn't know you. If I didn't know you. How do you say, si yo no tuviera carro? If I didn't have a car. If I didn't have a car. So remember, whether the information is positive or negative, you must use the structure of the simple past tense. Any questions uh, so far? Questions, questions? No. No? Mm -hmm. Okay, do you guys remember um, the word unless? What is the meaning of the word unless? Al menos. Al menos, al menos, al menos que. que. So how do you say, al menos que usted viniera, 
How will you say that? Unless you came. Uh, Unless you came, te daría el dinero. I will, I will give you the money. Give you the money. Excellent. money. Excellent. So, unless means al menos que. Um, very similar is only if. Solo si yo te dijera. How will you say that in English? Only if I told you. Only if I told you. Only if I told you. How do you say, aun si te ayudara? Even if I helped you. Even if I helped you. So once again, um, today's topic is the second conditional, but we're making a combination of using this uh, vocabulary here. Unless, on, unless, only if, and even if. Any questions about any of these um, three expressions? No? So imagine, only imagine, that you're running for candidate to be a politician. How do you say alcalde in English? Mayor. 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 Imagine you're running for mayor or maybe you're running for uh, to work in the Congress. When they go on campaign, they, they make promises. And all the promises that they make, many times they come uh, with the second conditional. How do you say, al menos que usted votara por mí? How will you say that? Unless you vote me. You vote. Unless you voted for me, I would be able to help you. Solamente si fuéramos todos a votar. How will you say that? Solamente um, fuéramos todos a votar. Only if all of us went to vote. Exactly. Only if all of us went to vote, we will see a change in the future. So, um, how do you say, aún si fuese tarde? Si usted fuera tarde. So we're talking about the election even, day. Even, uh -huh. even, even if, if you were late. Even if you went late, you were late. what would count is even your vote. Though. So unless, only if, and even if. Any questions about how to make a combination of these three phrases with the second conditional? How would you say, al menos que no echáramos basura en la calle? Al menos que no echáramos basura en la calle. Unless we didn't, unless we didn't throw garbage on the street. Okay, uh, do you guys remember the exact word that we use when you finish eating a pupusa and you throw the paper on the, on the ground? How do you say litro in English? Leader. Leader. Now, if you say leader with double T. Ah, okay, um, liter, liter. Uh -huh. Yeah, leader with double T, uh -huh. it means tirar basura donde usted no debe. So, uh -huh. um, okay. um, in, in the States, there are signs that they say littering $1,000 uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a fine, you know, and, and they mm -hmm. make you pay. So, littering. Litter is when you finish eating something and you just throw the garbage in the ground. It's part of the Salvadoran culture. Huh? Um, <laughs> it's part of the Salvadoran. And, and if you don't believe me, go visit downtown San Salvador <laughs> to get a, a, a good idea. But anyways, uh, any questions here? So this is what you will do. You guys, I will recreate uh, to put you to work with someone else. And you will talk about the possible solutions that we have to improve our country, to change our country. So, but when you're using the second conditional, you have to use unless, only if, even if. Okay, um, any questions? Any questions about what you will do? No. No? Okay, so let me recreate.
recreate. Okay, All right, everybody has a partner. So, like I said, imagine that you're running for uh, politics and you are making promises. Not necessarily promises, but your suggestions. So here we go. Loading, loading, loading. You don't have this opportunity to, to change the the country. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is an idea for me, but Nubia, Cecilia, do you have a, another it's idea? A, it's a good idea, your your idea. Uh, me too. Um, I think I think about the children, the education in El Salvador. Um, for the for the different the different culture uh, for example um, the the value the value value is a valor yes value 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 yes, yes. value yes uh, in the in who live near the school they go to study in the in the afternoon and the students who live uh, far away from the school they go in the morning because if the students who live far away go to study in the afternoon the when the time uh, for returning home uh, i don't know how I'll to say very late uh -huh. is is to prevent that the students are outside at night, for example. That's why they, they do that. They enroll the students who live near in the afternoon and the other ones in the in the morning. Yeah. So it is is something complicated because in, in a lot of places not all the people has access to education. So I think it's something that has to be improved approved for the the ministers or or the people that is in charge of of the education area in in this felt like level five all these years before but now that i get a lower uh, level i don't okay, feel like we are, we are speaking about them we, we are not speaking what what is going to improve the server we are oh, yeah. speaking about okay, we, did, we didn't <laughs> we are speaking about that we didn't get the the 
the level there. Yeah, we didn't I, get okay, we didn't get right to I mean we didn't get right the level that we wanted. I mean, okay. Now when so you it was that was hard for us because um yeah. it mean it means uh the prestige our prestige exactly. is going down but but we're we're not getting more money but our prestige is going down Julia right right but, but it doesn't look good in the in 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 the uh, in the job but it Ex doesn't affect us okay it doesn't look good yeah it, and it sounds a little bit illogical to say look i was in a higher level uh a few years ago and now that i get evaluated i'm going down so it's a uh, i understand your position mm -hmm. yeah yeah and especially when the the, the evaluator uh say something like yeah you need you need to use more subordinators like uh, not be the standing nevertheless moreover furthermore and i was oh, okay thank uh, you so much we have to use a lot of connectors and stuff like that but uh, we well you know as so, it's the way it is but okay now do they tell you what part of your speech they will be evaluating mm -hmm. do you know ahead of time which aspects will be evaluated Somehow, somehow, we were we were evaluated by our um, how to say if we like fluency structure, vocabulary. Um, there is more uh, three aspects more to. But you know the the, 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 the evaluator. I mean the 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 the, the guy so for evaluating people is recording our our chat. And then after that, he's he's, he's listening again and writing down the the, the notes, the, mistakes. the observations. So the notes, the observations. So uh, it's tough for me, tough. And how much and time is the how they are right? Uh -huh. How much time is it? <laughs> Two hours. Recorded. Two hours. Recorded. My evaluation was around four. Yeah, forty-two minutes. But previous, previously, the, the of the record, he was about my family, about my job, was around two hours talking. Was you don't have an idea? So okay, it's a one I, I on one. On one on I, I feel. Is it one on one? I feel like uh, one on one. Uh -huh, yeah, one on one. Yeah. I feel like he was like uh, I, the evaluator was like. Um, Making you tired and chasing you until you fall. So yeah. he was he was chasing us until we got tired and then we got uh, I mean we we failed on structure. I I failed on structures, but I wanted it was a real conversation and I didn't make up a, a dialogue. Okay, so it was and a real we're, conversation. Okay, so, and I and I fall in that. Uh -huh. So w w were you guys using Zoom, Skype, or was it a normal? No, in person. No, face to face, personal. Oh, face -face. oh, yeah. okay, okay. But the but the, the evaluator was was recording the the the, the, the conversation. So the conversation after the conversation, he would go and in in look look up for the mistakes, and that's that's not fair because I, I the oh. Even the evaluator, he 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 will not remember what we were talking about. He will say, "Oh, this conversation was right," but he got the record, and after he got the record, he started, oh, "Okay, they they fail in this and this and this and this." Okay. It's tough. And how but much time? I, yeah, how much time <laughs> do you need to wait to get the results? You get them on the spot. Two days. Two days. Today. He got the new, he got the new, he got his rate. Yeah, you got it today, right? The level four? Mm -hmm. you know, today. Yeah, he got it today, then I got it uh, yesterday. Okay. But I was like... Really but you know, you know, teacher, this is the, okay, they are doing consciously, I mean, this is the first time, I mean, this is a real evaluation. I mean, a real... Yeah, it's a real life scenario. Are, this is a real rating. I mean, uh, the last rating was, you know, Julia, the last rating was a lie. I mean, many people got like a, if they were native speakers, native speakers. All right. And no one, no one does. No one does. No one is in, in our environment. No, like levels. We don't have. 
Uh -huh. No, like, like native English. Level C is native English speaker. Uh -huh. So now they are getting tough, but we're, I regret that we are getting tough with us because we, we are not, um, I mean, we are not, como se dice? Principiante. We are not yeah, uh, beginners. beginners. We are right. not beginners. Right. But they, they, treat, they treat us like beginners. Okay. Yeah, like Julio so, was saying, okay. you know, it, it doesn't affect you. But you know, it, it might look bad on your on your record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You no, know any? Yeah. No, I'm not. Go we are not uh, going to lose our yours, our job, for example. But it doesn't look good that, for example, Oscar. He is like a controller for uh, 20 years controller, something like that. And it doesn't look good that he's level five. He was level five. Now he's level four. No, no, no. It doesn't look good. Right, right. And, and what is the highest level? What is the highest yeah. level? Six. Level six. It's, six is it's a native, native, native speaker. Okay. All right. Okay. Sorry to hear that. And maybe you guys do better on your next evaluation. <laughs> yeah, in the next four years, uh, 2023, maybe. I don't know if I'm going to be alive. I don't know, but. <laughs> okay. We are in the purgatory. I know. All right. <laughs> Let's go back to the main session. Thank you, Dick. Okay. Thank All you, right. Dick, for listening. Yeah. All right. All right. Welcome back. Um, any questions or comments on how to use the second conditional? And using only if, uh, even if, any questions or comments? I guess not. So thank you very much for your time. Have a good night. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Thank, thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. 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 Bye.